In order to change direction on an area um, in IDS, um, there are different ways. It depends on what kind of stitch type it is. First of all, this is a design that I did create in the program. So you can see that all these areas are unlocked on the left-hand side. And also, if I do right-click on an area, you can see down at the bottom, it is telling me what type of fill it is. So this, if you are working on a DST file or a file that has been imported, it's going to be much, much different. So um, in order to change the stitch type, or I'm sorry, the stitch direction on a complex fill, you can do it a couple of different ways. Um, first of all, if we right click on the area, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just on this specific area by clicking on zoom selected object. You can see the stitch direction is going in a direction um, kind of pointing up to the right. You can see this is my little stitch direction tool. Let's go ahead and change the color of this design so it's a little bit easier to see. There's my stitch direction tool right here. And I can take that tool. Again, we are right clicked on that area. I put my cursor over that green dot. It turns into a four way arrow. I can left click, hold and drag and drag that, um, drag that little wand or the stitch direction tool around. So if I drag it and I'm gonna bring it to zero, I'll go ahead and hit go and you can see the stitch direction change. As I'm dragging it around, you can see down at the bottom right hand side of my screen next to the stitch count. I can't move my cursor there right now, but um, next to the stitch count, you can see an angle number in there. And again, right click on it, move that and generate stitches. If you would like to change it by numbers, you can go up to the stitch uh, property settings. So if you are, I am right clicked on the area, go to the property settings. I can go to complex and here I can actually type in a number. So if I know that I want my stitching to be at 120 degrees, I can click on that, uh, or I'm sorry, re, um, redo the direction up here, press OK, and it will um, redo the direction. You can see that stitch direction tool there. For a satin stitch, it's a bit different. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this um, Actually, we'll do something a little bit easier to see. On the C, I'm going to right click on the C, um, go to Zoom Selected Object, and in the um, stitch view, you can see that I don't have a little stitch direction tool. And the reason is, is because um, satin stitches go in multiple directions. So I have to access the special view called um, View Angle. If I left click on View Angle up here, you can also get to it by going up to view and then view angle. Um, you can see with it right click selected that I do have these angles, these red angles with green nodes. I do have the, um, the option edit angle mode selected and with it selected you can then choose these little green nodes, it'll turn red and change the angle. So if I change the angle and then hit go, you're going to see a drastic change right there. And with these angles, these are all transitions in between each other. So there's an angle here, so my stitching will go in this direction, and as it gets to this direction here, it's going to transition to up and down. And then it's going to transition between these two, and then these two, and then these two. So you can see, if I generate my stitches, you can see it go up and down, and then it'll go, um, it'll start to go left and right, and then it will come back and around. So that's how I would actually change the stitch direction in my satin stitch. That's the only way to change it within your satin stitch view, or I'm sorry, the view angle. Um, that's the only way to change the satin stitch angles. So uh, I hope this helps. If you need anything else, please let us know. Thanks.